It's election eve in Georgia, where Democrats have their eyes set on a 51st Senate seat. Charles Watson has the latest from Flowery Branch, Georgia. The beach stayed in the spotlight again for that closely watched Senate runoff. Any legislative goals? It's a second attempt for incumbent Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker to sway voters. We cannot let our foot off the gas. We got to press all the way through the finish line. We got to get out there and let them know we're sick and tired of this. Democrats already clinched control of the upper chamber, but this seat could give them more leeway and nix the power of any senator like Senator Joe Manchin. A GOP P win would threaten Democratic majorities and committees and slow down the president's agenda. For the first time in this state's history, two black men are the major party's nominees, but the wind is at the back of Raphael Warnock after his party's better than expected midterm showing. Plus, early voting smashed records, usually good news for Democrats. Democrats feel good. It is going to be close. Republicans hope voters turn out as a rebuke to President Biden, but without Georgia's popular GOP governor on the ticket, skeptical voters might not show up for Walker after a slew of controversies. Even Georgia's Republican lieutenant governor says he couldn't vote for Walker. He's not the only skeptic. Unfortunately, we put a candidate that has a lot of um, baggage and uh, some challenges, and we're, we're in a great position uh, in terms of the climate and the environment to, to win this seat back. Polls open Tuesday at 7 a.m. Almost 2 million Georgians have already voted. In Flowery Branch, Georgia, Charles Watson, Fox News.